Whether it's filmmaking and photography or delivery and search and rescue, drones are taking over diverse industries and applications. They have become very popular because they offer a unique perspective for capturing photos and videos. But what are the parts that make up a drone, and how are they made in the factory before being used by different occupations? Let's find out! The process of making drones starts with the materials being used in the manufacturing process. The most commonly used material is carbon fiber, which is a lightweight, rigid, and corrosion-resistant material. It is considered the best material for drone wings. Other materials include aluminum, which is stronger and easier to bend, but also heavier and prone to vibration. Plastic is often used to make cheaper drones, but they are flexible and durable. At the start of the manufacturing process, the components of the drone are cut to shape and then manually sanded down to give them smooth edges. The body frames and leg structures are assembled in halves, creating a lightweight yet robust frame for aerial operations. Some drone components are created through 3D printing, which builds parts layer by layer with thin streams of plastic. 3D printing can be used to make intricate plastic components like small brackets or motor housing, and this method allows for intricate designs and customization. The 3D printer can be used to make the armed receptacles, and a technician will drill the hole where the arm will be fitted in. Technicians use digital calipers and drills to ensure all parts have precise dimensions and secure fittings, especially for holding the drone's arms together. Some factories also use other manufacturing techniques like CNC machining, injection molding, vacuum casting, and sheet metal fabrication. These methods can be used to make intricate electrical housings, protective covers, and payload mounts of the drone. For instance, vacuum forming can be used to shape plastic covers that protect internal systems. Meanwhile, injection molding produces consistent parts like connectures and fittings. Some factories also use CNC machining, which can cut the carbon fiber and other metal parts for the frame and motor mounts. After manufacturing the carbon fiber components, which are used to make the body and legs, and the 3D printed parts, which can be used to make receptacles for arms and wings, the next step is to assemble the key systems. This step involves assembling the electrical, mechanical, and structural components, creating a cohesive unit. The electrical system begins with attaching the electronic speed controllers, also known as ESCs, which regulates the motors that drive the rotors. The ESCs are connected to a powerful harness with different connectors, allowing energy to be distributed to all components. Then the autopilot on the onboard computer will be installed and linked to the ESCs, GPS module, and the servo motor that controls the camera. Together, all the elements will allow the drone to follow programmed flight paths and adjust mid-flight operations. Another key system is the payload mount and protective cover. The payload mount is designed to hold critical equipment like the hard drives and camera, and it is linked to a servo mount for precise camera movements. The mount pivots allow the aerial views to be adjusted in real time. Using a vacuum forming machine, factories can shape lightweight plastic covers that protect the internal systems of the drone. The factory workers would form and trim the plastic covers to precise dimensions using milling machines. Then, they secure it to the drone's body. The other important parts of a drone include the internal circuitry, RC receiver, batteries, connectors, and power distribution board. All these parts are assembled and added to the drone to allow for seamless communication between the transmitter and the drone. Finally, the assembly process involves attaching the arms to the central body, mounting the motors on the arms, and then connecting the electronics to the flight controller. The factory workers would assemble the commercial drone, starting with attaching the four carbon fiber legs to the bottom frame. The legs are meant to provide stability during takeoff and landing. The carbon fiber arms, which are equipped with a rotor and motor, are inserted and clamped into the receptacles securely. The arms are precision engineered to align perfectly. The electrical systems like the power harness and electronic speed controllers will be finalized in this stage. The motor on every arm connects easily to the ESC, regulating the rotor speed. The autopilot will be installed and linked to all key systems, and the payload mount will also be securely attached and connected. A vacuum 
foam-formed plastic cover is installed over the drone's body, protecting the internal components from external damage. The openings for the payload mount and camera will be precisely trimmed to prevent any hindrance in the drone operation. Once assembly is completed, the autopilot is programmed to execute predetermined flight paths and operate all integrated systems. This includes responding to remote controls and GPS-based navigation. After assembly, the drone will have to be calibrated and tested to fine-tune motor settings and ensure stable flight performance. Commercial drones, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles or remotely piloted aircraft systems, are drones that are often used for business purposes rather than recreational purposes. For instance, businesses might use drones for construction inspections, surveying lands, creating maps, making deliveries, search and rescue, and more. Drones can be used to trip alarms and generate footage for security purposes, and can be used for mapping and surveying in mining and quarrying. Drones are also used to locate people in areas affected by natural disasters, and they can provide detailed inspections for building and road construction planning. Commercial drones are more durable and robust than personal drones, and they can be customized for different needs. To fly a commercial drone, you need a license, but commercial drones attract fewer laws and license requirements than personal drones. With a commercial drone, you can collect up-to-the-minute data and get aerial views. The most commonly used commercial drone is the octocopter, which is a type of drone with eight propellers and rotors. These drones are fitted with eight motors, which can carry heavier payload compared to drones with fewer motors. With their eight rotors, octocopters can lift heavier payloads, making them suitable for search and rescue, industrial inspections, or carrying large cameras for professional videography. Drones with eight motors are also more stable and offer less redundancy. If one motor fails, the drone can still maintain flight. Octocopters are often used in situations where heavier payloads or high stability are required. Octocopters are usually built with carbon fiber because it's lightweight and highly durable. Manufacturers create octocopters with a diameter of about 5 feet. A commercial drone usually has a flight controller, which is the brain of the drone. It receives data from the remote control and sensors and sends signals to the motors, controlling flight movements. Another important component is the propeller, which is used to lift and propel the drone. Commercial drones usually have an electric speed controller, which regulates the speed of the motors based on the signals. The first part that is constructed during the drone making process is the frame. This is the structural body of the drone, which holds all the components together. Other components of the commercial drone include the GPS module, which enables precise navigation and positioning, the landing gear that supports the drone when landing and taking off, and a transmitter and receiver, which allows the pilot to control the drone remotely. In the final steps of production, commercial drones are equipped with advanced features and technologies that make them versatile tools for various applications. For one, there are control and navigation features added to the drones. Drones are controlled wirelessly using a remote control or by programming GPS routes onto their onboard systems. Another feature is the onboard camera, which is mounted on a payload with a servo motor. It pivots dynamically to capture the aerial views of the ground. This flexibility means that the camera can be used for infrastructure inspection and agricultural management and resource monitoring. Some drones also come with advanced imaging sensors, allowing for thermal imaging, high-resolution mapping, and multispectral analysis. The rotors on a commercial drone are driven by the motors for an agile flight. The multi-rotor design, especially in octocopters, offers enhanced maneuverability. Modern commercial drones come equipped with technologies like obstacle avoidance, which allows them to steer clear of obstacles during flight. Meanwhile, automatic return to home functionality ensures that the drone would always go back to its starting point in case of a lost signal or low battery. Another advanced feature is real-time data transmission, which allows immediate access to captured information. Companies are also adding artificial intelligence capabilities to their drones, as this allows for data analysis and operational efficiency. What other features do you think should be added to a drone? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating and fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.